Hello, dear friends, basic greetings from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Fursov. I am a research entomologist, beekeeper, and teacher. Entomologist, it means I'm studying insects. I'm studying parasitic wasps, small parasitic wasps, which I indicated here on this poster. They are very small from tiny size of half a millimeter up to one millimeter, which is a very big one, and other different parasitic wasps, which are widely spread all around the world, and they're useful and very used in biological control against agricultural pests. But today I would like to present you some stories which I recorded during several years about bees and about beetles. Yes, I have shown already uh, different bees and I hope so this will be interesting because I'm recording these stories in the summertime in spring, summer, in autumn time, and in winter time, there are no insects outside. Yes, it's not possible to go outside and watch behavior of some interesting parasitoids on stems or on plants or on flowers, or just to collect some bees outside because it's cold. Not so cold in Ukraine now, in, in Kyiv, it was maybe minus two, minus five say, degrees Celsius, not very cold, little bit snow, but it was again a rain. So terrible time because uh, the war is still continuing in Ukraine. It's ter terrible. But nevertheless, nevertheless, we're not crying about it too much. So it's better to record some stories for adults and for children, who is for English speaking community, by the way, who can understand us in 50 countries all around the world, or maybe in 100 countries. I'm not quite sure. It depends from viewers. Even some people who are not speaking English as a native language can understand English, and it's a great advantage. So, and of course, videos which were recorded in, in, in a field or in the laboratory, it's quite easy to understand, but because video is just very visible material. And, and I will be doing some kind of a comments and explanations what is going on on this video, what is some bees what are some beetles are doing in this video. So let's start our video story today. And first of all, I, as I announced about bees, so the most famous one, that's definitely, who is it? This is just honeybee, Apis mellifera. Apis mellifera is sitting on flower where? Okay, okay, in the artery, just to record it quietly, peacefully, and just to show you big size of a bee because when she's just outside on flower she's very busy very fast very quickly doing her job and here she's sitting because she's a female and she's a worker you see on the hind legs hind pair of legs with shining plates on legs this is its name very special equipment tool for collecting pollen on flowers and you see the front the head between antennae also just dusty because of pollen so honeybee is a very famous pollinator but not only honeybee there are some other bees which are named as wild bees wild bees and you see they're very it looks like a honeybee but a little bit different these are bumblebees. These are mason bees. Mason bees. And this is the genus Osmia, Osmia corda, with two horns on head. And you see, head is bigger than honeybee. And the color is different black and red. One is here on the upper side. The smaller one, this is a male. No, no, not female, but two species. This one with white fronts, with white head this was the male two different species well, this one again the male and upper side female male has a usually longer antenna and he's searching for female for mating here and also male is visible here because males they have white hairs on front on head and females they have a bigger head and the mason bee is also very famous pollinators they're living in hollows in, in hollow stems and they're hatching, imaging in very early spring 
when still honeybees little bit lazy little bit lazy because of cold temperature cool when it's 16 degree 17 degree honeybees not so active flying too far away especially even on, on ephemeral spring flowers but mason bees they are very busy flying around even in the springtime when it's a little bit cold 15 degree and it's very fine honeybees will usually fly around but we just can come out of beehive fly around making a poo making a pee and just flying again back to beehive we were making cleaning cleaning flight around beehive in a very early springtime and coming back it's still not time for collecting pollen only some part of honeybees which are named foragers foragers will start to collect some early spring morning some pollen not to so many nectar but mostly the first pollen from spring flowering trees are very useful and now we continue for next video with beetles with beetles not only beetles but also bugs you see this and i will indicate here what are these bees beetle bees and beetles who is, who is this beetle big beetle this beetle belonging to the family scavenger beetle sylphide family sylphide and this one is belonging to weevil and this one the weevil small one plum plum weevil of a family upper upper angle upper right angle this is a family curculia nida what you're in who's and this one central again female you see female of beetle of a family silthide very pretty common in a springtime in some way in a may in june they are crawling around concrete around on asphalt crossing asphalt roads where were we of cars so we are smashed and we are dying just on road because they are searching for their food they are searching for food they are cleaners they clean all dead bodies of different insects not only insects different animals like birds or maybe some died small mammals some parrots pigeons so they're helpful for cleaning all areas and this one this is a weasel weasel you most of weasels were phytophagos so they're searching here a little bit for food feeding on some flowers and on stem and this is miri the family of bugs also phytophagos bug these are not this bug is not thin but only just sinking of plants and under the leaf under this big Karen Karen bee scavenger bee sylphide one bee which is smaller belonging to round bee beetles which was carabide just I will find it. where is carabide beetle round beetle somewhere hiding under the plants because I'm just looking around I put when I'm here in a pet dish just for patience so seen with this body or these beetles of a family seal feeder please do not kill them because the cleaners at our areas at the parks and streets because if we find something like a dead small animal like small pigeon they will bur bury it under the soil underground in the soil there are two different species carrion beetles so one some beetles making it's like a burial by just using the dead body of a pigeon or sparrow for their food and also for as a food for their larvae so uh, burn the pigeon under the ground and laying eggs 
So larvae will be developing under the ground. And this is phytophagus, what you are in host of a family. Curculeanidae, or just big, quite very nice, with about size of one centimeter. And here, this one is size about 20 millimeters, 20 millimeters, even just with damaged middle, middle leg. One leg is damaged, someone cut the leg of this beetle. Or oh, maybe another individual, another specimen, or maybe some birds which you have found with beetle, because this beetle is crawling just openly in daytime, not in nighttime, in daytime. Usually I collected them in somewhere in the daytime or in the morning. So that's why some sparrows, maybe some birds can attack them easily. But this beetle also can make kind of a protection just using its lymph or just the blood, which is named as a lymph. And these beetles smelling not very well. So if you take it in your in your, in your palm, so you can expect just not very nice smell of this beetle. Again, here, widow, which is crawling, crawling around and just cutting a little bit some leaves for the for its food. Let's search for next beetles. Next beetles. No, this is, these are not beetles. These are crickets. These are nice crickets. Yes, these are nice crickets also appearing in, in early May time, but they are growing slowly, or maybe you say rapidly, because they just after one month, they're becoming just full size crickets. They're jumping, they're a very nice object for observations for kids. So I put them here all together for careful protection in the petri dish and for recording video because they're jumping very easily. The petri dish they will escape in a couple seconds. And you see, in the middle size, in the middle place, there is one small specimen, one small individual, which is a larva of a cricket, which is smaller and growing slowly. This belonging to hemimetabola with not full metamorphosis. So larva is with similar size, similar shape and structure. Again, small larva. Here we see two small larvae and big size already adults, growing adults. Larvae are growing, just molting, and they look like the same species, but only in a small size. Because grasshoppers and crickets, they are growing slowly and a little bit different, to be, to be correct. Species, and some species, of course, of the first are very unique, very special, different from the old stage because growing and but still not making such metamorphosis like beetles or like butterflies or just moths because here different way of life cycle and development. So semi metabola. Yeah, you see again in the center, greener color. This is a small larva. And big size for different five five big adults of it's not grasshoppers but creek. Yeah. The phytophagus or some species are predaceous. So that's why be careful if you can put some different species all together. In some cases, predaceous grasshopper will eat all very small. Phytophagus crickets. Or even with one with the same species can show just cannibalism. Cannibalism in some cases, some grasshoppers and crickets, they're predaceous, so they will eat smaller larvae, or they can eat just another more weaker 
specimen. But this species, I guess, Phytophagus. And here, probably male, and this is in the center, this is a male with red top of the abdomen. Okay, very nice. Summertime. And let's go to the next video. In the next video, you can see these are displayed. Zoo of different beetles. Here are more, many beetles of different families. And I will briefly say the name of the, these families. On the top, we see elongated body of clicking beetles of the family L. Laterite, click beetles. One big beetle is coming of a horn beetle of a family Cerambicide, horn beetle. Cerambicide just escaped. Who is that here? Smaller individuals here, yellow beetles on the top sitting. These are small Asian ladybugs of the family Coccinellide. Ladybugs again appearing, just horn, long horn beetle of a family Cerambicide in the left angle, in the left down angle. Again, here, long elongated bodies of a clicking, and you see on the left side, jumping beetle. This is a beetle family, cara beetle, a round beetle, a round beetle. And again, nearby, this is a long horn beetle, the biggest one, the biggest one. And here are some smaller individuals, smaller beetles, just crawling here in the left angle. Flower beetle with the family Mordelide, Mordelide, very special name, Mordelide. Quite easy to collect them and find on flowers in the summertime. Why, what families are here? On the right side, on the right side of the screen, just crawling nearly near the top, the beetle of a family, Car carpet beetle of a family, dusty on skin on different products, uh, different dead animals in the wild. And who is here, who is here? Okay, in the central part, there are two individuals, three individuals of a small beetle, small, smallest beetle belonging to the family, Tenebrionide, coming over here, just crowding in, in the center, the smallest beetles of the family, Tenebrionide, darkling beetles, darkling beetles. So this is a zoo. The most dangerous here are ground beetles. Why? Because they are predacious. Because they are predacious, so be careful if you are keeping beetles altogether. It needs to keep them for a short time. Otherwise, predacious beetles, like carabita beetles or ground beetles, will be feeding on phytophagous beetles, like all other phytophagous, even longy horn beetles. Also, is fighting on feeding on flowers or cannot or some small beetles also feeding on flowers or even elateridae were just also not fight, not predaceous were also eating some nectar on flowers. Again, who is he in the central part, small near the down this this war darkling beetles, the big one, big elongated beetle. Beetles, these are Elateridae clicking beetles. Here, this on the right side appeared several crown beetles, Carabidae. And here, on the right, it's here one small individual of a Bruchide beetle, Bruchide, which are belonging to Curculanidae as, as well now. It's a Bruchina, Bruchide. Genus Megabrochidius. On the right side, one is big one. On the right side appeared one quite big mm. mealworm beetle of a fam or dark little be beetle of the same family, Tenebrionide. Here on the left side, big, bigger magnification. You see here with like with a little bit elongated abdomen, elongated body. This is a Mordelide. 
Mordely, the Mordely, the family. Okay, probably all I counted all families here. Here, one from the left. This is a round beetle, carabide, and the left or right side. This is with elongated body, elongated abdomen, Mordely, which I usually feeding on pollen on flowers. And where phytophagos larvae living in the stems of different plants. And one small larva of coccinellidae family. Larva on the right side, coccinellidae. The biggest beetle, longhorn beetle, longhorn beetle is crawling, trying to escape, trying to turn from the back on the other side. The biggest one, this is a longhorn beetle. Cerambicide here, right on the right side. This was Tenebrionide, yellow and black. Coccinellide, yellow color. Ladybug, Asian ladybug on the right side. And Mordelide on the left side. Mordelide with elongated abdomen. Okay, probably all of them we have found. And who is here? Here the next piece of zoo is living in this zoo. In this zoo, we also find some beetles. Some beetles were crawling around petals and flowers. What time it was? I guess somewhere in August. Somewhere in August. Not already in springtime. Oh, no, no, no. Probably in June because pinky, pinky petals were just rosy pinky petals. Right, right. Somewhere in the beginning of June. In the beginning of June. In the middle, we can see very big, or rather the big sized mealworm beetle, mealworm beetle of a family, Tenebrionide, or mealworm, and this is the same tabon, Tenebrionide. And here, one is beetle with a yellow color coming, brown is a soldier beetle of family, Cantaride, Cantaride. Just very aggressive predaceous beetle, Cantaride, very aggressive. Can can attack all as other small beetles, even beetles of the same family. This is a Cantaride beetle or soldier beetle because very, very aggressive. Oh, who is here? Who is here? All others were just hiding a little bit down. Here again, this is duckling beetle. And on the right side, one small car carpet beetle, I guess. The smallest here in the center, smallest, this is a carpet beetle of a family, Dermestide. Dermestide. Who is here? On the right, see very tiny, very tiny, long horn beetle on the right side with long antenna. Maybe you can see him it's hiding here. This long antenna, this is long horn beetle. Long beetle just feeding on petal. All insects just using plants, just pets here, just for protection, uh, like a refuge to be hidden a little bit. These are two specimens, two specimens of a Cantaride family or soldier beetles. Okay, I guess here in the center. In the center, big um, black beetle belonging to the family of weevils or curculeanide beetle, curcule, phytophagus beetle, phytophagus beetle, which is very, very, very weak in comparison with soldier beetle or cantaride. And who are the smallest? The smallest two on the right side, probably the same cantaride family. But very small specimens, very small, small different one. A rounded beetle, this is a Bruchide or belonging to Curcolanide now, Mechobruchideus hatched from lo locust honey, honey locust bee, bee seeds or Lidice, Mechobruchideus, and very big Tenebrio, Tenebrio beetle or dark. Yes, yes. And here in the center, this is carpet beetle. Carpet beetle. 
black colored carpet beetle of a family Dermistidae. Which is feeding a little partially can be predaceous, can feed on dead bodies of insects, also on some food products, on just liver, on different food materials as well. Can be dangerous, especially in storage of different food materials in collections. On the left side, we see Phytophagus curculanidae family, Phytophagus weevil, which is just showing, feeding on the petal of rosa. So on the left, and this here in the center, carpet beetle, carpet beetle, Dermestide family. So these are different beetles we watch today. So I hope it was fun for you to recognize different families of beetles and different families of bees. So you can see so high biodiversity, which can be found easily even during one day around your house, around your apartment, in a park. Which are easy for observation. You put them just in a bag, bag or just in a petri dish, in a plastic bag. But better after such kind of uh, observations, a little bit maybe or after recording on your telephone, it will be better to release them. Here, small specimens of another species of a total, I guess, the uh, Cantaridae family as well. Cantaridae or soldier beetles they are so different. Smallest species, this is one species. I'm not quite, and this B1, this is a different one. But, fam but family is the same. Cantaridae, flying away very quickly. So thank you for your attention. I hope it was funny and interesting for you to see these summer bugs and beetles, which are very common in, in urban areas, in urban environment, in a park, in a, in a forest. And now in this difficult situation in Ukraine, even in the springtime, it's not a very good idea to go to the forest for collecting insects, only easier to collect some insects in a urban park and a city park because situation is really crazy here again black color this is a tenibryonide and another one is this is a dermestide beetle a carpet beetle and the biggest one is a tenebrio mealworm beetle hello bucky lucky bucky like lucky lucky bad lucky pet Thank you for attention. This was a story about beetles and about bees. I hope it was interesting and funny for you to watch these different beetles, which are just quite funny, especially in the winter time. And if you want to support our channel, it's okay for even for one dollar. You can use Patreon page or just use join button under this video, or just to use my PayPal which is indicated in description of video, but on YouTube channel, you can be as a research assistant, or you, if you visit to a Patreon page, you can be as a research assistant, and also you can support as a different scientist who has studied zoological objects, entomological objects. So you can see the description of different our projects on Patreon page. So your part Participation is really well. If you're interested, in which which insects are interesting for you, which insects can be recorded in the summertime or in the springtime, which is in very soon after two weeks. By the way, spring is coming to Ukraine and the world, and I hope so. We will have opportunity to record some interesting videos in natural conditions in a field or in the closest city park why not so summertime is coming so today was a rather cloudy day but before it was a sunny day so we're looking forward to see sunny days of spring as soon as possible warmer day is coming so every day is just 
coming in closer to the spring and hot summer. So hopefully, and, and we believe that every day is pushing us to the victory of Ukraine. And Ukraine is forever. Ukraine is forever. Thank you very much for your attention. Don't forget about Patreon page, about the nation. This is a very nice feedback. I am very appreciative. I have two members as a research assistants. They were coming, they pushed the bottom join. And we are now to my research assistants of my channel. Thank you very much for them. I really appreciate you. This is for two cup of coffee for me and my son. Thank you very much for your attention. See you soon on my channel. Write your questions, ask your questions, and write your comments. Which insects do you like? Which insects do you hate? And why you do like insects? Or why do you hate insects? If you need some you know, advice, write your questions under this video. If you have Gmail, for sure. Because if you are on Gmail, it's you are allowed it to be to write comments under this video on YouTube. Thank you for coming. Would like? Oh yes. If you have email, if you still have email, and you can use it. You can ask your questions in a private message on my email, so you can send your email on this my private email. So thank you for your attention. Good luck and see you soon on my channel. Bye bye. Good luck for good people. Good luck for entomologists, positive people. Good luck. Bye-bye.